Hi, I'm Tim. In this video, join me as we discuss Horizon Hobby's Spectrum AS3X stabilization, stabilization System. What it is, what it does, and how it helps you as an RC pilot. Let's get to it. Recently, I acquired the UMX, which is Ultra Micro Pits S1S uh, from the folks at eFlight. Wonderful ready to fly model. And you'll notice on the box it says AS3X system. What we're going to do in this video is discuss the AS3X and just what exactly that is, how you use it, the advantages of it for you as an RC pilot. AS3X stands for Artificial Stability in Three Axes. Every aircraft that flies, whether it's a light aircraft or an airliner, has three axes by which it flies. You have pitch, roll, and yaw. In the example of the pits, pitch would be up and down, roll would be back and forth, and yaw would be like this. What the AS, AS3X system does is it provides stability among all three of those axes. Aircraft are designed for various reasons. Trainers, for example, are designed to be a very stable aircraft from the design. <clears throat> Your typical trainer will have a long uh, tail moment. That's the distance from the wing to the uh, tail section. Maybe a little bit longer of a nose moment for stability. Planes that are a little bit more acrobatic, like the pits, for example, will have a shorter tail moment, the distance to the tail, and perhaps a little bit of sweep on the wings just to aid in agility. There are some aircraft that are built to be unstable to begin with, like jet fighter aircraft for maximum stability. Obviously, when we convert these models to radio control model aircraft, the inherent stability of the full-scale aircraft or the characteristics will affect how the model flies. Historically, it was hard to get these models to fly right to be stable because of these characteristics of the aircraft, which is where the AS3X system comes in. With radio control model aircraft, the smaller the model, the inherently trickier it is to make it fly smoother. It's just you have shorter control um, throws, just it, it can be twitchy and harder to get those things to fly smoothly as opposed to bigger um, models. Again, AS3X will be a huge benefit for these smaller RC uh, radio control aircraft. The AS3X system was designed by the engineers at Spectrum Radio Equipment and what it does is it uses sensors and advanced software built into the receiver to provide the stability on the three axes. This is typical of the receiver that's in the pits. It is the receiver, electronic speed control, and two servos all in one brick. The ESC components are built into this, the sensor and the software. By the same token, if you have a regular receiver like this, it can have AS3X built in. It'll have to say ES, uh, AS3X on top of the server. I'll show you a picture of what that looks like um, at this time. So the purpose of the AS3X is to provide stability in all regimes of flight for the RC model airplane. By sensing instantly changes in the aircraft vector when it's moved around, it could be by wind, <clears throat> it could be tip stalls, it could be torque from the engine, it could be a center of gravity that's not, not the quite exact location. Because the sensors and software are on the aircraft, they can instantly apply and contract with controls to make it appear that the aircraft does not feel that wind gust, tip stall, the turning of the torque. The result for the RC pilot is you still have to fly the model. If you take your hands off the control stick with the AS3X system engaged, the model will crash. It doesn't fly itself. But what the AS3X does is give a feeling of connectedness that you're locked in with the model. The model simply flies better. A very rough analogy could be that when you have a car with power steering, the power steering just automatically comes on. It just makes it a lot easier to drive the car. It's a very natural feel and it's built in to work correctly. 
the AS3X does that. Virtually every model that you fly with AS3X just flies smoother and more connected. And I think you'll enjoy that flying experience. So what I'd like to do now is give a demonstration with the pits um, of the AS3X so you can kind of get a feel for how it works. So this is the pits. And what we do is we make sure that we turn on the transmitter first and the pits is selected here and we plug in the battery. The implementation of the AS3X varies with receivers and models. Make sure that you read um, the instructions for your particular AS3X setup. Also, um, Horizon Hobby is very good about putting up-to-date videos out on how these systems work because it, it changes over time and it changes the receivers. Now on the pits, this all comes ready to fly out of the box. So the receiver is all built in. The AS3X, the sensors and software are in the receiver brick in the back. The way it works is when you plug it in, you have to let the model sit still for five seconds as these sensors sense the stabilized model. Notice that when I move the model, the AS3X is not engaged because normally it would feel this movement and do something with the controls to try to keep it centered. The way the AS3X is activated in this particular setup is you apply throttle. Now the AS3X is activated. You can hear the jitter. This is the servos working to control the ailerons, rudder, and elevator with very small movements to make pretend the model is flying smoothly as it hits the rough air and turbulence. It's a jitter, but it's totally normal. When the model is still, there's nothing going on. When it senses movement, it does it. It just happens in real time and gives a very natural feel towards your model. Let's take a look now at a video of a recent flight that I had with the pits, and you'll just see how smooth the takeoff is, just the flight around. It was a pretty windy day when I flew this, then the landing. Again, this is my very first flight with the pits. The development by Spectrum of the AS3X technology is significant because it opens up a whole world of aircraft that we can model that previously just would not be um, viable to model. Especially with a smaller ready to control, uh, ready to fly aircraft, you can take all sorts of aircraft, put in the AS3X, and they just fly well right outside of the box. Now, as part of the AS3X, some people will buy separate receivers that have AS3X in them and install them in their own aircraft. You'll have to activate it and set the gains to, to make that work properly. The good news about models like the Pitts biplane, another example of a uh, AS3X is the Radian sailplane. All the gains and all the parameters are set when you get the model so it flies correctly right out of the box. But also, it allows you um, to purchase and fly what I would call more extreme models. It just would not be viable flyers without the augmentation of the AS3X. A very good case is a GB racer from the 1930s. Uh, back in the 1930s, uh, racing was very popular. The way to win those races was to get the biggest engine possible and essentially build the airplane around the engine. Uh, the GB stands for Granville Brothers uh, Racers of the 1930s was an example of this. It was flown by Major Jimmy Doolittle of um, the Doolittle, Ra Doolittle Raiders fame in the 1930s. And Jimmy Doolittle, who was probably one of the best racing test pilots of the era, said that it was one of the most dangerous airplanes that he ever flew. He never felt comfortable flying it. It was heavy, it was hard to see, just everything was wrong about the airplane. And that holds true for a model. Narrow landing gear, high center of gravity, uh, just, it's just not a good model. But with the use of um, 
AS3X technology, you have a really a quite good flying model aircraft. Similarly, there's a lot of interest in electric ducted fan jets. Um, MiG-15s um, is an example. With the use of AS3X, you now have a viable flying model aircraft. Even something like a P-39 Air Cobra, which is, could be flown without the AS3X, the addition of AS3X just makes for an easier to fly model, just is more comfortable, more fun at the fields, and allows you to concentrate more in your maneuvers and flying. As we discussed, the use of AS3X opened up a world of ready-to-fly aircraft. However, many modelers with their aerobatic aircraft or just the regular models may want to use the AS3X technology. Again, it all works in the background. Just once you've set it, it's always there to help with your model. And what happens is you can buy um, what is called open stock receivers with the AS3X sensors and software built in the receiver waiting for you to activate the AS3X and adjust it as necessary for your model. With the open stock receivers, you have to look carefully at the numbers on them. Some examples that I looked up, this is being filled in January of 2021, are the AR636, AR7350, AR9350. That'll change and evolve over time as more and more models have these um, receivers. As I mentioned, the AS3X is inactive. When you install the receiver, uh, into your airplane and there are very specific instructions with the receiver how to install it whether it's fore, aft, sideways, upside down. You've got to follow those instructions because the alignment of the receiver is absolutely critical for the gyros to work. If the receiver is cocked a little bit or in the wrong position the gyros will literally give you negative inputs. At the same time with the receiver in the correct position you've got to make absolutely certain that that receiver is firmly attached to the model. Well, the ready-to-fly is not a problem. They're, they're just absolutely bolted in to the fuselage. If the receiver comes loose and changes its orientation with the AS3X, the model will be essentially uncontrollable. So just be, be triple certain about that. But what will happen is to activate the AS3X, there's a very unique system. You get a dongle, and I'll show a picture of that, it plugs in the receiver, it's very lightweight, fairly low cost, and what happens is the dongle connects to an app on your smartphone, either Android or Apple, and you connect via Bluetooth through the app to talk to the receiver to adjust the various things on the AS3X, the gain settings, other things. If you are using one of these AS3X standalone servos, things that you've normally done in your transmitter, server reversing, mixing, uh, aileron configuration, V-tails, that was normally done in your transmitter is now done through the app and your uh, receiver just to allow the AS3X to work. The AS3X has to know the configuration inside the receiver, not from your transmitter, to properly control the model. Again, as the technology and the products are changing very quickly with the AS3X system, do look up on the Horizon Hobby website or with a Google search. There's very good videos that will walk you through the installation and how to set these uh, equipment up for various co uh, configurations of your RC model aircraft. Now we've talked about the AS3X, which is an aid to the pilot for smooth flying of the aircraft, but still you have to fly the model at all times. It just makes flying the model easier. There is another evolution from the AS3X technology called SAFE. What SAFE is, is a form of an autopilot that in certain cases can fly the model for you. You've got to have AS3X to implement SAFE, but with SAFE employed, there are various modes that you can have that can help you fly the model. So one of the first ones are the three modes. I'll put this up on a picture, but as an overview, there's a beginner mode where your pitch and roll angles are limited to keep the aircraft airborne. The idea is you don't want to over control of this. You, you limit how far the aircraft can go. And when the controls are turned to neutral, the safe system will put the aircraft into a wings level flight and it might help you from over controlling on uh, takeoff and landing. There's also an intermediate mode, which is just greater allowances for the pitch and roll. It just is expanded for a bigger flight off lobe to give you more of a feel of the aircraft. Again, all backstop by the AS3X technology. The experience mode is essentially, there's no um, control with the aircraft. You're just flying on your own with the augmentation of the AS3X. 
I personally think the jury is out on these safe modes. I like to fly the airplane on my own. I understand and embrace and advocate the AS3X. The safe, I remain to be convinced, I'm, and to be honest, I've not flown an aircraft to a safe. I think you're benefiting from your initial flying to get a good trainer, good instructor to learn to fly with that trainer. They, or there have been many pilots that have flown with this trainer. It's just a good, uh, good way to start. In addition, a computer-based flight simulator is always helpful for stuff like that. But there could be people out there that like the advantages of a safe system for their learning. The other advantage is of the safe system is some of the uh, growth features. And I'll put the card up on this. But um, Spectrum is coming out with Safe Select, Safe, and Safe Plus. And so what we've talked about the safe system, Safe Select is interesting because you, through your app, can adjust the gain settings on your uh, safe system just to have a different flying experience. And what also is quite interesting is Safe Plus. Safe Plus, for the first time, brings GPS into the equation. So you can build a GPS fence. In other words, a line of the GPS for the model will not go beyond if you just want to stay within ground boundaries of some area. Also with Safe Plus and the GPS, you can have a function called return to land. The model will fly itself back to where it took off and do an attempt to do a landing. Also, there's a loiter where it'll set up an orbit point and just orbit that point wherever you want. So again, it'll be interesting to see how all this works with a safe impl implementation. The one important thing to keep in mind with any aircraft with safe, it has to be a ready-to-fly aircraft from Horizon Hobby, E-Flight, whatever vendors are on there. The safe system is not designed to be used by your, uh, the home builder building their own aircraft. There's too much adjustment that has to do to have the receiver properly flying the aircraft to do what it wants to do. The AS3X can be implemented by the home builder. The safe technology is only done at the factory for ready-to-fly aircraft. One important point to keep in mind with the AS3X technology, if you build your own aircraft and put in the receivers, it's crucial that you have a very tight control system from the servo control rods to the control surfaces, rudder, elevator, and um, ailerons. If there's any slop in the linkage where the hole may be a little bit too big, or there's any flexing in the rods, as the AS3X system does its very fine corrections and it just goes back and forth in the slop or the hole, obviously you're not going to have the um, beneficial impact of the AS3X. It's not going to harm anything, but if you do build your own, the control system has to be extremely uh, tight and connected so you don't have any slop. Thank you for joining me in this video. The AS3X technology is, is a game changer in my opinion. Um, I flew the pits. I just could not have been more impressed with this. In addition to the Radian, I've flown this in really exceptionally windy days. I can see it bumping along as it's hunting as the AS3X does its magic to keep it aligned. I feel like I'm in full control of the aircraft, but it just makes it for a better experience. Uh, just, you, you just, the plane flies better with the AS3X. The SAFE is an interesting development, especially with the GPS, and we'll see how that develops. And it is um, interesting to see the things coming out of the focus spectrum. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, I wish all the best for your work with the AS3X. It really is a plus for your flying experience, and good luck at the RC field. Just got done with my very first test flight of this PITS, and I am not sure I've been more impressed with model airplane in my life. I've been flying for 50 years, a lot of airplanes, a lot of ARFs, built a lot, designed a lot. This plane was perfect. It took off straight. It was didn't need an ounce of trim. It was steady. There's a fair amount of wind. It's dying down now, but there was enough wind going along. Uh, the AS3X technology, I, I'm a believer. Uh, for something like this, Without it, I think the model would be just about uncontrollable. It was locked in, absolutely smooth, confidence. I, I, I just, I'm astounded.